Hey guys, if you're starting off YouTube, I got the perfect tripod for you. It's coming right up. Stay tuned for more. My name is Camille. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be unboxing and reviewing this tripod. If you're looking for a new tripod and if you're a beginner or someone that just wants to level up their tripod, this is a perfect tripod for you. It's just under $100 coming in at $80 US or $100 Canadian. And if it's something that you guys are looking for, make sure you guys stay tuned for the rest of the video. If you guys are new here, press that subscribe button, hit it, slam it, do whatever you want to do with it. I'm going to link the description down below for the current price on Amazon and we're going to get right into this video. So let's do it. Let's get started with this review and I'm going to show you some cool features that I love about this tripod. So first off the bat guys, it's coming in a black box, G Koto right here. Love this um, carrying case that they gave because basically you can, you know, take it with you wherever you want to go. If you're going for a hike or if you're just setting up in the park for some outside shooting or just around the house. It's just perfect, it comes with this case. So here, let's get started and take it out. Whoop, whoop, everything's dropping. Case, gotta go, wham! Oops, can I do that? Of course I can. Another cool thing, it comes with this bag. Open that up, yeah, protect that hardware. Looking pretty good, I'll zoom in so you guys can get some shots of that. It's light, portable, basically you can, you know, curl this. I'll let you guys know how much it weighs. Description down below. First thing you gotta do, pop those legs open. Bam, right like this. And they pretty much get into a fixed position really quickly. You can set that up. There's three clamps for three different lengths, easy to open, and then you're just gonna slide the legs down to extend that. So let's take it to the first height. Open the clamps, lock them back up. Let's open her up. <laughs> easy to slide open, you just gotta rotate that handle and then tighten it back up and it's gonna hold in place and then there's another one that opens up right here and you're just gonna slide that up but I wouldn't recommend to um, open both of them as it's going to give you enough height that's with the legs open down to there for a nice kind of sit down height and then we're just gonna open the second one so you guys can see Bam, so quick, so easy to open that up. And that's gonna give us a nice medium neck height. And the third one, we're just gonna open that up. Bam. Really nice, really quick to open it. You can adjust this to any height. Now for YouTube, what looks really good is if you have this at eyes length for any kind of footage that you shoot. Everything looks better on videos when you kind of have it at the eye length. That's the perfect height for it. And you can move it, the camera down. So this is really, really convenient if you want to have something that is a high tripod. So if you want to have a higher height, you just put the second one up. And there you go. So that's over my head if you guys want 
I really like this tripod for that feature that you can really have it above if you're filming some kind of sports event you can get that bird's eye view. Wouldn't recommend to have it there because it's not so stable at that height. There's three adjustments of the legs for the width. Um, there's just a clamp over here that you press and you can adjust it to the middle or adjust it one more click and it just locks into place and that's going to be the width of the tripod. I have it right now just at the first one so it really gives you that comfortable stance with the tripod. Another feature that I really love about this tripod is that you can open up these latches. There's three latches over here with a leveler. So you can open up that latch, take videos for your IG movies or sideways over here. If you guys um, are asking the question, can you use this with your iPhones? You just need to have an iPhone holder that you can screw in and really use that for any kind of Instagram or vertical uh, filming. So that's really convenient that just moves all around it's a great feature and you just tighten it up into place and the next one is basically for panning which is really interesting i'll show you guys footage from that so it pans left it pans right that's uh, a nice feature also to have because it keeps everything level and there's a leveler over here that you can adjust to so not a quick release for your camera but you have to unscrew this and then you can take off your camera and put it back on kind of like a quick release really that's that on the ball head we're going to be talking a little bit of some extras that really makes this tripod a lot different from the other ones on the market and why I recommend this tripod is now we have if we have the camera mounted on top uh, it's just going to be acting as a regular tripod if we want to change it around and we're going to just press that button Now we're going to release the camera and as you guys can see you can place the camera underneath you can get a ground shot and I'll show you guys some cool footage on that. The extra features that this has is a monopod. One of the legs come off and it becomes like a monopod style. So you unscrew the ball head and you have your monopod, place that on top, you screw it in and you get an extra feature. And like mentioned before, you can just shorten the legs or extend the legs really quick and easy. And you got your little portable tripod that makes it so convenient to travel with which in my opinion this tripod with all its extra features is one of the best YouTube tripods out there on the market. The only con that I think that you do have about it is that it doesn't pan sideways and that's one of the features that I wish it had but either than that one of the best beginner tripods out there for a budget for under a hundred dollars which makes it really great so guys that's the unboxing and review for the Gikoto tripod highly recommended for beginners if you guys are doing some YouTube content please hit that subscribe button if you guys found value in this video we'll be back with more reviews and me and my girl right here, the beautiful Yulia, will be back with more videos. So take care guys, make sure you guys stay humble and kind. We'll be back with more videos. Later!